A link down below as always. New content, Ambrose Island. It's a new location that is free for all Hitman 3 owners. Embark on a new adventure with Agent 47 to a secluded island in the Andaman Sea where rogue thieves and a dangerous pirate syndicate are plotting a daring heist. You can watch a little preview video of it here if you want the opening cinematic. New additions, game settings preview. We've added a visual preview widget to all gameplay settings in the options menu, including HUD, minimap, and interactions. As you toggle between on and off and other choices, the widget will update for each individual selection. Where it makes sense, there are also animations to mimic the gameplay experience. So attention alert on, instinct, camera grid, whatever. PC NVIDIA DLSS 2.4.3 officially deployed with the July patch. We were intentionally using the 2.3.2 since May because we were aware of some visual issues. Elusive Arcade Tweak. We've made some back-end change to Elusive Target Arcade, which allows Hitman 3 owners to play all existing and future arcade contracts regardless of their ownership of Hitman 1 or 2. Previously, players were required to own and access paths for Hitman 1 or Hitman 2 to access the relevant arcade contracts. This change allows us to create arcade contracts that are not restricted to targets from the same game. We're now able to pick and choose from the full roster of available elusive targets to create more variety in themes. You'll see those as they appear in the game starting in August. PS5 activities. We've made some changes to the activity card for the PS5 users so that more relevant ones are shown based on what you own. Fixes and improvements, stability improvements. We've improved general stability across all platforms by addressing several issues that could cause the game to crash or freeze. Unlock access resolved an issue where players would be unable to obtain level mastery or item unlocks if they encountered a server disconnection while transitioning between levels, restarting, replanning, exiting to menu, or finishing a level. We've tweaked several things to prevent this in previous patches, and this additional change will make the chances of it happening even smaller. A wall HUD resolved an issue that could cause some of the elements of the HUD to disappear if players save their game while the mission name locations is played on the screen in the opening seconds of a mission. Side flash. We've resolved an issue with the HWK-21 covert pistol, where the muzzle flash was extremely bite, bite, bright and not aligned with the barrel. She's stopped gurgling. Uh, no comment. We've resolved an issue where NPCs get stuck in an endless animation loop after being injected with a sedative syringe. You'll end up in an endless animation loop when I bonk you upside the head with the back of my hand if you give this video a thumbs down. Ashen 6 updated the description of the number 6 with gloves suit just in time. Tropical Sheen resolved an issue where the tropical suit Haven Island unlock was way too shiny. Chongqing Conceal Crash, aka China, fixed a crash that could occur when concealing an item in a trash can while taking cover in a particular location in Chongqing. Antisocial resolved an issue where the lawyer in Mendoza was holding his phone upside down and the wrong way around. Photographic destruction prevention resolved an issue that could prevent players from earning the silent assassin rating in the Dubai campaign mission, specifically players who were spotted by a camera and then disabled the cameras via the server room terminal. It would then be unable to erase recordings through a normal camera recorder. Meeting Room Master resolved an issue where players would be immediately spotted when starting at the meeting room in Dubai on Master Difficulty level. Well, they don't fuck around on that difficulty. Lust Keys resolved an issue where players were unable to pick up keys during the Lust Assignation Escalation 7DS. Most people never notice. We've ended the conspiracy theories in Berlin and removed the barcode from the back of the guestless man's head, a.k.a. Ziegler. He was never part of Ort Meyer's army, and now he never will be. FSP audio resolved an issue where the menu music would not resume after viewing a cinematic in the free starter pack. World of Assassination fixes. Hokkaido snow festival suit, where it wasn't possible to start the mission in Tobias Reaper's suit. Now this starting location will be unlocked by default. Stingray Villa Vision. Resolved several issues that could cause NPCs and especially targets in Haven Island to see through several walls and floors 
This is a complicated and tricky issue to address, but it seems to have been caused by an AI vision blocker in the door template for this level. Essentially, yeah, we don't need to know. We know how it works. Unfortunately, this issue will only be resolved on PIS PC with this patch and will be included in our next patch for all players. What part of that? I guess I gotta read it. Essentially, whenever NPCs open a particular door type, they were able to see everywhere within the mansion, regardless of how many floors or walls were in the way. This was especially troublesome if Tyson Williams was involved, because this character animation has him looking down frequently, which meant he could spot 47. Several floors down. There. So that's the one that's only fixed on PC. For now. Whittleton Creek Bitter Pill resolved an issue where the laser security wires could trigger an alarm even after players disabled the alarm system. This was occurring after players performed a save load cycle. That's it. As always, if you like the video, thumbs up. It's more than a warm, fuzzy feeling I get seeing three or four thumbs up on a video. It helps the algorithm with YouTube to promote the video more. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half, break it off in your hands. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.